Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be reviewing the Model 1's All-in-One Salon Kit. Uh, I'm going to throw the price here on the screen. So, this is the box that it comes in. Very pretty. Now this has a lot of goodies. Let me just show you what we got. We got the base and top coat. Alcohol wipes. We have some poly gel. We have pink, white, and clear. And these are the small 15 gram tubes. You get some really nice painting gels. Alright, as you can see here, I have them all laid out for you. All eight beautiful, beautiful Model 1 solid painting gels. We have three glitters. One is a very fine pink glitter. And then we have the silver and the teal. And then we also have five beautiful solid colors as well. So we have like a periwinkle, a bright, bright, beautiful Barbie pink. This one is kind of like a salmon kind of color. This is a like brown. You also get their cute little sun mini lamp. We also have a cute little brush. We have the all-in-one instruction how-to. We have a bunch more striping tapes. Some more wipes. Some little crystal gems. A 100-180 grit nail file. Tweezers. Also have a cuticle nipper cleaner. Another cuticle pusher. A brush. A number six. So really nice kit. Comes with everything that you need to get started if you are new. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be using the XXL pipe nails and I have cut them to make them square. I do have the XXL squares coming but in the meantime we're going to be cutting the pipes. I do want to say though guys when I prep my nails I like to use the protein bond by Young Nails. This is by far my absolute favorite bonder uh, uh, acid free primer. This is my absolute favorite. I have used it for a very, a very long time and I really, really love it. So go ahead, dehydrate your nails, prep your nails with your primer, put on your base coat. You would go ahead and etch the underside, add, um, either etch it with the e-file or etch it with your primer and then take a base coat and the reason I'm putting the base coat in is to give it a little uh, tackiness for the poly gel to stick to. So I'm going to do that with all of the nails and then I'll be right back. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Alright guys, the first thing I'm going to do is take my Model 1's base coat and I'm going to put some base inside this little dampen dish that I got from one of my poly gel kits. Before you use poly gel, to adhere the one, two, three go nails or the apre nails, definitely, definitely make sure that you have etched the underside. Now I suggest because I have used poly gel with these in the past and they have started to lift and they only started to lift where I did not etch. So always remember to etch the whole underside. It, it's not going to hurt it, but for me, well, in this video, because I am going to just be popping them off, this is just for video purposes, um, I'm not going to worry about etching, but you can also etch with a primer. You can use any primer that you have that works, so you're going to go ahead and do that with all the nails, go ahead and etch them, and then once that's done, go ahead and take your poly gel, and you're just, you don't need a whole lot to adhere it to your nail. You're going to put it down by the cuticle area, okay? I'm going to put about that much, not a whole lot, of that base gel. Get it soaked into that brush. And then what you're going to do, let me get that poly gel back in here. You're just going to go from sidewall to sidewall, just like you would um, like a base gel or a builder gel when you're putting on these nails. You want to make sure it's pretty thin at the cuticle, not too, too thick. It doesn't have to be perfect because we are doing color on top of these nails, so the underside does not have to be perfect. 
so kind of like that. I know it's really hard to see because it is clear, but with the clear, however, it is easier to see once you put it on your nail. You can watch it go all the way to your free edge. Once you get to your free edge, you're going to cure that. This is the XVX light, and at 45 degrees onto my nail by the cuticle, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let me bring it up a little bit more. Press down until I see it all the way to my free edge, just like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Make sure you ha don't have any air bubbles. So again, take your poly gel. This time I'm just going to put a little bit, just a teeny little bit, and my base gel. I'll turn it this way, and I'm just going to start smoothing it out from side wall to side wall, and then just bring it up a little bit. And honestly, that's just about all you need because we're just applying it to the the nail. All right, so go ahead and turn your light back on at 45 degrees. Go down all the way till it touches the free edge and cure it. You can let go and your nail is on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of the nails. We're gonna come back after I've filed and shaped and buffed them, and we're gonna do the design. All right, now that I have them buffed and shaped and everything, I'm gonna take my base coat again, and we're gonna lay down a base, a thin base coat. That way we can start doing the um, paints on top of this. So go ahead and put on your base coat and then go ahead and cure that for about 30 seconds in your light. And once I have that completed, I will be back. Um, I'm going to take, I am going to have to use a couple brand, a couple things that are not by Model 1s in this video. So the first thing is the Madame Glam um, Blossom Blooming Gel. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put a thin coat on each nail. All right, so I have put my blossom gel on the thumb and I'm just going to take the brush that they provided and I'm going to grab some color and I'm going to just start putting the color on like that.
All right, here are the three glitters that come in the kit. So, I'm just gonna take my brush again, and we're just gonna put a little bit of each glitter on the nail in different spots. Just to give it some bling. Give some, you know, highlights of the glitter. This is super easy to do. Okay, so we've got all the colors on there. So I'm just going to continue doing that to all of the nails. I'm just taking a little bit of glitter, dabbing it on there. Alright guys, super easy. So I'll finish up and we'll be back to add a little bit of bling. Alright guys, I went ahead and finished up with the glitter and now I'm just going to do, I'm going to grab some glue and just add a couple um, cute little bling bling gems. I'm just going to put some, I think they're cat eye gems from um, AliExpress. ladies and gentlemen that is my final look so I'm gonna grab some of my love by Verdi's cuticle butter this time I have not used the cuticle butter this one is in uh, lavender chamomile and I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger not a whole whole lot and just rub that in to the cuticles doesn't take much just a little bit smells amazing okay and look how much you get that's a lot and that's gonna go a very very long way and um, these are screw on lids if anybody is wondering really cute and there is my model ones now look very very simple to do you guys very very simple these should stay on for quite a while if you, do not, if you don't use the nail guards like I did. Now I only use the nail guards because I want to do more content for you guys. So that is why I'm using those. But um, if you prep your nails like you normally would and then put the poly gel on, adhere it, they will stay on for quite a while. So I have, I have a lot of questions about that so I wanted to go ahead and clear that up. I have used poly gel to adhere these nails before and they have stayed on for quite a while so anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video go check out the model ones all for one kit down below 
and if you're interested you can go ahead and purchase that but this is the look that I come up with hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section subscribe if you are new share it with a friend like the video and I'll see you in the next one hope you all have a blessed day bye